Although I know there are people out there who will say that um, Bo Star Trek Voyager was not the best series. Um, I really like it. And I've seen online, because um, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups, I've seen online fans say that um, Neelix was the most annoying character on there and die, die, die Neelix and stuff like that. I'm like, what? I mean, he's different than everybody else, and that's the point. Um, because it's just the point. There's no other Talaxians on board. Um, he's really eccentric, you know, uh, cook and tell these stories. And he hasn't been everywhere, he says. Like, I just watched an episode um, where he confessed that during the Talaxian War, he was actually, uh, he was a conscious observer type guy. I mean, he, this is an unjust war, so he didn't war for duty. So it was, um, I don't know what this called. If the, I don't think it's AWOL since you've never reported, but it's just like draft dodging. Um, he was a draft dodger. And, um, so, but he, he'd been telling stories for years and everybody's like, oh, wow, you know, everybody heard these stories where he talked about how he was a member of, uh, the fighting force, the defense, and all this. Um, this is not an old about Neelix. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just talking about Neelix. I, I like the other characters too, and I've watched a lot. And this is, oh my goodness, this is season one, episode fifteen. Season one, <laughs> I started rewatching it. Um, I didn't know. I thought I was farther than that. Maybe I skip back. I don't remember now if I skip back. But it's it's on Netflix, so I, you can watch. Like, all seven seasons, like, in order, or not in order, I guess. Usually, I watch, when I start watching a new show, or start re-watching a show that I've seen before, or something, I'll start with the episode one, season one, so, I guess, I lost track of how many I've seen. Um, my wife's favorite character is seven or nine, and I'm thinking, she didn't show up to, like, the fourth season or something. I mean, she's a really major character, but not yet. I think they were trying to revitalize, actually, revitalize the series because um, a new, introducing a new character who's a, a really attractive female gets some nerds excited about watching Star Trek again, I guess. I don't know. But I like watching it. Um, this is episode 15, Learning Curve. It started out with Janeway on the holodeck doing the the Mrs. Davenport story that she was doing. I think it's neat seeing kind of the holodeck stories. Um, and the last episode was the one where uh, the flashback Neelix was talking about when he was in the war and the guy was trying to he's trying to bring people back to life. I think uh, he had made something that killed millions of Talaxians and he was trying to bring them back. It was weird. And then the episode I saw before that was the one where um, Bolana is split human and Klingon. There are actually two because some this uh, mad scientist dude in the Vdians did this uh, genetic split thing with her because he needed pure uh, romp, uh, Klingon DNA to beat the phage. But Bolana can't exist without the Klingon DNA in there. So they, at the end of the episode, the Doctor was gonna have to integrate it back into her, um, her DNA. I mean, because her human physiology, so she was gonna have to be human Klingon again. I mean, she didn't really want to be, but she kind of did. It was, it was a, one of those bittersweet things. But I really, you know, I do like Voyager. Um. My favorite series is Next Generation, but it also went on the longest, and it was the first one I started watching. Um, I have not yet watched any of Enterprise, which is weird, like a prequel. I I, I never wanted to, but I put it on my list, so I'm going to sit, I'm going to watch it eventually. I just I thought it was dumb. <laughs> I think it's dumb when I have a, a prequel because uh, Enterprise 1701 was the first to bear that name, the first starship to bear that name. And I'm like, I don't understand. So I guess I really need to watch it because a lot of people say it's a really good, good series too. Um, 
Yeah, the one's uh, Deus Space Nine. Wouldn't uh, I think it's cool, different than any other show.